Welcome to lesson 5 of getting started with CabMaster software. Today we're going to go through the universal cabinet. We have multiple universal cabinets. We're going to start with uh, floor. There's one called floor universal. I'm just going to double click on this to open it up. Okay, looks like a standard cabinet. We have the floor standard which is a two-door cabinet. You can do quite a few things with it, but the universal cabinets let you do a lot more with them. So you can specify, say, area 1, which is is exactly what this is, it's only got one area. You can specify what you want to be in there. So I can go for shelves, I can go for drawers, I can, so let's say shelves. Whenever you select anything in here, it'll pop up area down here. So I've now got shelves. All these pages are just for those shelves. So how many shelves do you want? Let me give two shelves. You can have a special profile if you like. Let me select, say, this one here and a scroll up to one and turn it on. There's that one. Um, so you can do that per shelf. You can add in uh, different recesses. You can say if it's fixed or is it adjustable. It's a fixed one. You see it's going from green to black, so it shows you exactly what's going on. Uh, plus, you don't want to have that. If I've gone into there, I can even height, so I can specify the heights individually. I can change the angle. If you want to have a shoe rack, for example, you can do that. But there's both at 15 degrees. Go and add a lip to it. So add lip for one and all is two. So you're going to put a lip in front of it. Again, clearly not going to work with the cutout. You can do whatever you want with these cabinets, so it's actually very clever. Uh, instead of all is one, I can say two's got a, number two has a lip. Sorry, number one has a lip. Number one has a lip, number two doesn't, because I've got this cut out through here. So it's a lot more flexible what you want to do with it. Uh, it just gives you a lot more flexibility. You can turn the doors off, change the doors. Um, it can be anything you want. This area one can be anything you want, from shelves to drawers to a grid, whatever you want it to be. So, so I can go to grid, I can go to my doors and turn my doors off and say it's now a wine rack so in this wine rack area you go how big are they I want them to be 125 by 125 and it'll automatically adjust or I want to say well, give me quantities give me yeah, 3 by 3 for this example 3 by 3 and if I want and I'm just going to change this one to 3D because it makes it easier to see this one there you go and instead of being there let's go let's make it 45 degrees there you go um, you can actually grab this as well and slide it whatever angle you want and you see it'll eventually catch up. Once you've done this you can actually go into the next page the you can turn on if you want to add in screws if you want to do that sort of thing you can also add in or turn things off as well if you don't want them in there so you can do some fancy things in here how do you want it to fit so you can do some really fancy things in there like that and you can also add the machining in so that is a floor so the floor universal has a bench top and is much as the same height as the floor cupboards as your base cupboards be very quick with this one because we have a tall universe so tall standard tall universal so again this matches the tall cabinets your pantry cabinets um, if I turn my doors off just to show you this what you can do it's going to be exactly the same as the other one it's a blank thing inside it and then from there you choose area one and what do you want to put inside it so I can put in grids I can put in lots of things in there um, and wall has exactly the same thing as well so just for example you go to wall standard wall universal and again it matches the overhead wall cabinets you can put whatever you like inside it or leave it open what do you want to do with it but we now have two extras we want to go through we have universal we have a universal one and a universal two. These other ones are all made from these two. So a universal two, I'm going to go to universal two first. This one here, so all the other ones, the floor, wall, and tall universals, you can specify um, what goes into the area inside it. The universal one and universal two, you can specify, for, so the universal two you can specify, I can split it in half, then in each one of these areas, I've got area one and area two. And in area one or area two, I can then go into here and say, I want to have four into here. So now I can go into each one of these areas. And in each one of these areas, I can also split it in half again. And I can now say, I want to put a draw in that bit. Now, clearly, it's not going to fit. You go to drawers, I want one draw, and that'll now fit. So you specify. So the way the universals work is you work with the, the first page is the overall outside of the cabinet. So it's the entire external section of the cabinet this is the size of it then I have one division then you break it down so I just want to look in area one so area one is just this bit here 
Then you specify what I want in area one. So I've now said I've got four divisions in this area. I've broken it this here. Then you say what I want in each area. Then you break it down. So if I go down to say lower and put in shelves, for example, I've now got a page here, area one, lower one shelves. All these pages are just for that area. So you break it down. So I've got a whole area, that area one, then that section down there. And then drawers. This is just, all these pages are just for that area there. So you break it down bit by bit by bit and you can say, what do I want in that area? Well, how do I do it? Don't worry about how many drawers are in there or how many shelves are in there when you're at this level. So when I'm in here and I go, I want shelves, I don't care how many shelves there are. I just want shelves in that. Once you specified what you want in each area, then you go to the next bit and go, I'm going to go to shelves. How many do I actually, okay, I only want one shelf in here. This is when I'm now at this level, I can now do what I want in here. Uh, do I want it to be cut out? Do I want a profile in there? What do, I, what do I want to do with it? So I can do something. There you go. Yep, I'll include that one. And it'll give me that cut out. So you break it down this bit, this bit, this bit. So the Universal 2 lets you go four divisions, uh, so one main division in the center and then four sections high. So that lets you do things like lockers and there's actually a cabinet called a locker. So this one here, Universal Lockers. Okay, so this is the lockers. You can see it's literally just one division in the middle. It's got the four divisions on each side and a door on each side. So that's pretty simplistic, that one. The main one we use most of the time is the Universal One. So let's do a full breakdown of this cabinet. This one here, you start with the dimensions. Uh, you can do quite a lot of things with this. So what do you want it to be, best, basically? So let's go, you know, 1500 wide, 1800 tall, that's fine. You can slope it if you like. Um, so you can slope in the d different sections. So this one here can be, you know, how far am I coming in from the other side? So if I go to the zero, slope the entire thing, um, you know, you can slope just a, a chamfer of it, the right height, uh, you know, 1200. It's what do, you, what do you actually want to do with this? How do you want to slope it? Um, or you have a rectangle. So this is fair enough. So this is start with the start with your box. Let's put a couple of divisions in here. So this one here, you can have four divisions wide. So if I went four divisions wide on this one, then you got the area one. Again, this is now just this section through here. Um, what do I want? I can go into here and I can actually go two. So I can break it down to this level. And then you got, okay, let's put shelves down the bottom down to there. Let's put a grid in the middle to there. Again, select what you want. Don't care what it looks like at the moment. Just get something in there. Go to area two. Uh, let's just throw a double hanger in there. You know, this is obviously needs to be a little bit wider than this. Let's make it 2100. There we go. Now we're getting closer to where we should be. So we can start making some robes and things in here. Um, you can also offset everything. You don't have to have everything to be the same. Um, they can also include or not include the divisions if you want. Um, if you don't want them evenly height, so you go, this one here is going to be at 800 and the grid's only going to be 450. So you can specify the height of each area. Once you've got your heights in there, you go to the next area. So shelves, again, how many shelves do you want? What pattern do you want on it? Do you want a slope? Do you want to, what do you want to do with it? You just break it down from there. Um, labor and construction, this is where you can actually turn everything off and on. So if you don't want your back on, remove your back. I've now got no back. Um, especially for robes and things like that. Quite often you don't do that. Ends, you can offset everything. If you're not sure what something does, so I've just offset the end in 100 mil. Put it back to zero, turn it off. Um, so I offset that end and pushed everything across that way when I did it before. Um, I've set it back 100 mil. So again, it depends on what you want to do with any of these things. You've got a whole lot of different options of how you want to move things around. Um, you can offset radius on the top of it. So I can sit in my top back, I can put a radius on the top of that, things like that. You do have a lot of options in here. It's actually a very comprehensive cabinet divisions. What do you want to do with them? You can offset them, you can radius them. Um, top and bottom, the game th same thing, recess uh, from the front. Let's go recess 100 mil from the front. So you can put a radius in there if you wanted to. Turn the top off if you don't want it. How do you want to do it? It's all up to you. Turn things, everything off and on. It's a very comprehensive cabinet, but just think of what you want to do with it because you can get overwhelmed by, oh, a lot of options. Yes, there is. But you're not going to go in here and go, I'm going to play with everything. You're going to go in here with something to do. You need to build your cabinet. So what is it you want to do? Are you going to build uh, closets and robes? Are you going to build a standard cabinet? You want to build a TV unit? You want to build a bookshelf? What is it you want to build? Design that. 
So it's easily done. Um, when you go to doors, there's a, okay, we can put on sliding doors. So here's our sliding doors. You can put in a track, you can put in multiple doors. How many doors do you want? What does a track look like? Uh, how many have I got in there? Let's just go for four. Again, this is difficult to see in here, so let's go change this back to ortho. And you might be able to see a bit more. So you can see there's one, two, three, four. There's four doors through there. You got the track. Um, what if we went to hidden? There we go. That's the best one. So how many do you want? Height, extension, offsets, reverse, flush to ends, to jam. You can have a jam at the end. How do you want to do it? So if I go back to hinge doors, there's a couple of different ways to do hinge doors. I can do a division. Now, this end and all the ones in the middle, these are all divisions. So I can go, give me division doors. I want a door on the end left. Easy enough. And I want it to cover. What do I want it to do? I want it to hinge on the left. I want it to cover the upper, mid. So if I get rid of that, it's only going to do the lower and the mid section. So you can specify what you want it to do. Also, extend to. Now, this is going to be a bit silly, but I can extend to area four. A little bit big, but you've got the option to how do you want to do that. I can go to there, go halfway. Or I just want to go to area two halfway, and I can put another one. So I can do that one there, for example. I can go to division one, two, three. I want to go to division three. That one. I want to hinge it on the right hand side. I want to go halfway through area two. So I can do something like that. And then, there we go. And then I can go back to the end right, and I want to cover. This one here I want to do on the right and I'm only going to cover to area four. There we go. So you've got control over what you want to do with each area. Or, <laughs> there's another or, turn that off and go to cell doors. Now, this one will break it down too. I can put one door under that area up there. Or I can put two doors on that area up there. And one on that one. And one on that one there. So you can start specifying where do you want to put doors on what area. So you, again, break it down. You've got sliding doors for the whole thing. You've got divisional doors that hang off a division, each division, or you've got cell doors which hang on, go into each section. So again, break it down. How do you want to see this? It's very comprehensive in how you want to do it. Now, that's putting doors in, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to turn them all off for now just to make it easy to play with. And I'm going to quickly jump back here and just give me... Give me three, give me two, there we go, that'll work. Just so I can see what I'm playing with. Things we can put in here, so I'm going to go to area three. Um, hanging rail, pretty straightforward, it's a hanging rail. Double hanging, there's a double hanger. Um, shelves, you put in shelves. Drawers, again, pretty straightforward. You put in drawers, let's put in drawers into there. You go to drawers, you can come into drawer into here and go to fronts. And say, so I want to include my drawer fronts. What are they? What spaces are they? You can do some cool stuff with that as well. So that's drawers. Um, grid. Now a grid is a wine rack. We call it a grid because it can be a wine rack, can be a grid, can be a tower rack, can be whatever you want it to be. It's just literally horizontal and verticals. You can rotate it, you can spin it around at any angle you like, like I did on the floor one. This has the same functionality. I'm coming back to this one. Uh, pull out system. You can specify a pull out system in here and go select the model. And these are pretty cool actually when you get these ones in here. So you can hit the open button and it's automated, it's all animated. And you can see in here it's the entire pullout system. So if I go to full textured view, you can see it's got the entire system in there as well. So it looks pretty cool. It shows you how it's going to work, all that sort of stuff. So that's the pullout system as well. So that's pretty awesome. I like those. The uh, verticals. Verticals are an interesting one because they are what do you want it to be. This gives you sort of a, a universal cupboard inside a universal cupboard because you go, oh, I have a back, I have a front, so I can turn a front off. Okay, I now have a box, but I can then go offset this by, where have we got here? Let's go to, uh, I don't know, 100 mil on the right. There we go. So I can start off offsetting this so I can show you what it actually looks like. I can start building, and there's a, a back in there, so I can turn the back off, and I can see I've got now two parts in there as well. This can be anything you want it to be. It's just another option where you can add in different different parts. Um, what do you want to do with it? It's a it's a cool feature. This one, so you can add different things. You can turn and again, doesn't have to be a back. Doesn't have to be. It can be a back. It can be a front. You can turn things off and on. 
you can build something else with this. That's what this is. So it's how do you want to use it? It's just parts. Um, you can go into the shape. You can shape the parts. There you go. So we can do something like that as well. There you go, down the bottom. So it's now done that into there on the bottom edge of that. That's cool. So again, you can do a lot of stuff with these ones here as well. Um, yeah, it's just what do you want to do with it? It's it's a cool thing you can do with it. Um, rails, you can add rails across the back. Where are they going? Oh, I don't have a back turned on. That would help. There you go. So you can turn things off and on in here anyway. Um, it's just, yeah, and the material and the edging and machining, and you can do custom machining as well if you want to bring you write your own tables, um, or you can actually do cutouts in here as well. So it's a very comprehensive cabinet of what you can do with it. You can just keep going with it. it this will do, this one's called universal because it is literally, it can be anything you want it to be. Um, you can offset everything in each direction. The external parts, the internal parts, build what you want. Again, say so go to grid, um, just rotate it 45 degrees. You've got some quick keys here, or you can literally type in and go, let's type this to 62 degrees. And then it'll go build that for you. Now, when you get these little ones, it didn't look that good before. It's things like this. When you go to here, when you go to part enabled, um, finding which one it is is the interesting bit because that's I want that bit, but I don't want that one. Here you go. So sometimes you don't want the tiny little sections, so you can go turn them off. So that one there is possibly it's either one or seven. No. Nope. There you go. It's number two. Number one's already fallen off the bottom. So you can turn things off and on. Depends what how you want it to look. So you can do a lot with it. It's very comprehensive. It can be pretty much anything you want. Bookshelves, wine racks. It can be a locker. It can be a robe. It can be a closet. That can be sloped as well, uh, and the sloped doors and all that sort of stuff. So this is the universal cupboard. Again, there's a universal one, universal two. The difference is the universal one has four divisions sideways, and the universal two has the four divisions up and down. Um, the floor, wall, and tall universals all follow the floor, wall, and tall de um, default settings, and they only have one area to play with in the middle. So hopefully that will let you start designing any sort of cabinetry you want, uh, and it'll yeah yeah. Go for it, enjoy it, send us some pictures, we do some fancy things. Thanks very much for watching.